Amen. And, you know, if we look hard enough and we let the Lord show us, we can see a lot of things in the Word of God. Amen. Praise God. I was down yesterday afternoon, we got home from work, I was in there reading the Bible. Amen. Just trying to get my mind on the Lord for service today. And the Lord started dealing with me on this. Amen. Very familiar scripture. Amen. It says, Now there was a certain man of Ruth, in Zephim, if I pronounce it correct, of Mount Ephraim. His name was Elkanah, Naiah, the son of Jeroham, the son of Elihu, the son of Tuhu, the son of Zuf, and Ephrai. He had two wives. The name of one was Hannah, the name of the other was Panina. And Panina had children, but Hannah had no children. And this man went up out of his city yearly to worship and to sacrifice unto the Lord of hosts in Shiloh. And the two sons of Eli, Hophni and Phinehas, the priest of the Lord, were there. And when the time was that Elkanah offered, he gave to Phanina his wife and all her sons and her daughters portions. But unto Hannah he gave a worthy portion, for he loved Hannah, but the Lord had shut up her womb. And her adversary had provo also provoked her sore for to make her fret, because the Lord had shut up her womb. And as he did so year by year when she went up to the house of the Lord, so she provoked her, wherefore she wept and did not eat. Mm. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you today for this opportunity, God, to come before you and stand before you and your children. God, I ask you, Lord, for the anointing of the Holy Ghost. God, I ask you to take this vessel of clay, God, and make me a vessel of honor today. God, I ask you to put your words in my mind, God, your words in my mouth. God, let the Holy Ghost use me, Father, to there's nothing left for the shell of a man. God, I ask you, Father, God, to anoint these lips of your way. God, to make them lips of fire this morning. God, I ask you to give me quality of speech, quality of vocabulary. God, I ask you, God, to use me till there's nothing left of me, oh Lord. God, I ask you, God, to strengthen your people today, God, by the word that you bring forth out of this vessel. God, God, I know in every heart this morning, God, I know in every mind today, God, I ask you to do a good work in us, God, so we can bring glory unto you. Lord, in this last day, God, God, and show this world, God, that you're a glory of God, you're a glorifying God, and you're worthy to be praised. God, I ask you to do it, Lord, unto us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Praise God. Amen. We find here in the Word of God, amen, as we read, amen, there was a man who had two wives. Amen. One of them was Hannah. Amen. And the other one was Penina. Amen. One had many children. The other had none. Amen. But but every day, amen, the, the one that had children, amen, she provoked the other. Amen. And she caused her to fret. Amen. She caused her to get to a place. Amen. Even when they went to the house of God. Amen. Kind of like this morning. Amen. Uh, folks came to the house of God. Uh, no doubt they've been battling the enemy all week. Uh, amen. No matter that the enemy's come against them. Uh, amen. He's provoked them. Uh, amen. Uh, he's called them to fret. Uh, amen. Uh, called them to get their minds in a place. Uh, amen. So when the sacrifice came, uh, amen, they couldn't even eat. Uh, amen. Uh, uh, praise God. Uh, amen. We wonder why we come to the house of God. Uh, amen. And leave out the same way we came. Uh, amen. Because we allow the devil. Amen to stop us. Amen to receive it from God. Amen what God has for us. Amen. 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 Preach. That old enemy wants to labor your faith. Preach. Amen. Cause you to forget who you belong to. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. I can just picture in my mind how this lady, amen, she was day in and day out. Amen. Poking at Hannah. Uh -huh. Amen. Look at my children. Come on. Come on. Amen. See that over there? That's, That's my daughter. 
Amen. Hey, you see that over there? That's my boy. That's I mean, true. you got, oh, that's right, you ain't got none. Amen. Day in, day out. Amen. And it, and it vexed her. Amen. It caused her to get in a mindset. Amen. That she couldn't receive and eat. Amen. That offering that was offered from the Lord. Amen. That's what that offering was. Amen. At the, at the yearly sacrifice. Amen. They, they would offer. Amen. They would bring the lambs or the goats or the ram. Amen. Whatever they brought the sheep. Amen. And, and they would receive a portion. Amen. The man would receive the portion from the priest. Amen. To deliver unto his family. Amen. This is what God gave you back. Amen. From the offering that you gave God. Amen. Praise God. Let me say that again. That touched. Amen. And you received back from God. Amen. What you gave God to start with. Amen. This is what God said you could have. Amen. Praise God. The reason why some folks don't have nothing from God because they ain't gave God nothing. Amen. Amen. When they come to the house of God, they ain't getting nothing because they didn't spend time in prayer. They didn't spend time reading the Word. They didn't spend time with God. Amen. Monday through Saturday. Amen. So when they come to the house of God, Amen. God doesn't give them nothing back because they didn't give God nothing to start with. Amen. That is true. Amen. But she got to the place her husband gave her a healthy portion. But she was so vexed by the enemy she couldn't even eat it. See, there's some folks that prayed Monday and Tuesday. The devil got on Wednesday. They slacked up in their prayer life Thursday and Friday. Amen. Devil got on them hard. Hey, come on now. Oh, okay. Amen. They didn't pray Saturday. Jeez. Oh, come on now. Right. Amen. Found something to go do. Amen. When we woke up Sunday morning. Amen. When our bottom lip pushed down. Oh, Amen. Geez. Mad at the world upset. Oh, Amen. Bothered. Come on oh, now. Geez. Amen. Everything that aggravated us. Amen. Come on. Oh, Praise oh, God. Amen. We ain't uh, we ain't getting what God starts moving. Oh, Amen. We wonder why we ain't feeling God. Oh, Amen. Because we let the devil vex us. Right. Amen. Amen. That word fret means to rub. To wear away a substance by friction. Oh, oh that old devil rub on you, won't you? Oh, yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. To corrode, to gnaw, yeah. to eat away, oh, to impair, yeah. to agitate violently, to disturb, to make rough, to cause, to ripple, to tense, to irritate, to vex, to make angry. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Praise God, I covered just about everything. Amen. Praise God, that old devil rub you the wrong way. Amen. Praise God. Amen. If it's just your spouse, say something to you to aggravate you. Amen. Praise God, you get to thinking about that. Come on now. Amen. You bring that to the house of God. Amen. You wake up in the morning. Amen. Your spouse say something to you you don't like. Amen. You get angry. Amen. You get agitated. Amen. It might rub you the wrong way, sister. Son. Amen. But you bring it to the house of God. Amen. Amen. And you can't get the breakthrough. Amen. Because you allowed the devil to vex you. Amen. You fretted over what somebody said. You fretted over what somebody done. Hey, come on now. Amen. You got yourself in a state. Amen. That devil has called you. Amen. To get to a situation that you can't even raise your hands and worship God. Amen. That is true. How I know is I've been there. Amen. My wife's been there. Amen. Sometimes I've been Penina and she was Hannah. Sometimes I was Hannah and she was Penina. Come on. Bro. Come on now. That's true. Amen. Call it like it is. Amen. That's right. Amen. I've allowed myself to come to the house of God. Amen. All upset. Amen. Beside myself. Uh, amen. Because my wife said something that might have hurt my feelings. Uh, amen. Or I might have said something to hurt her feelings. Uh, and then I feel bad because I bothered her. Uh, amen. And neither one of us got what we needed from the house of God. Come amen. On. Because we allowed ourselves to let that flesh be pricked by the enemy. Amen. Uh, praise God. And we fretted over what somebody else had done. Uh -huh. 
Amen. 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 A little bit further, Brother Rob. Oh, bless him. Bless him. Preach. We sit on the back of you. And we look at everybody going around us. No more. And we won't let, we, we'll let that bother us. Amen. But we can't even get nothing from God. Amen. 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 Yeah. Jesus. Amen. That devil's sly. Amen. Yes, he is. Amen. He'll do his best to stop you from getting a blessing. Yes, he Amen. Is. Amen. He'll do his best to keep yes. you. Yes, amen. amen. He knows all he got to do is just poke that, poke that flesh out of him. That's true. Amen. Right. Praise God. You poke that flesh. Amen. And guess what? Amen. amen. That flesh will rise up and the spirit leaves you. Yes. Amen. We got to get to the place where that devil pokes that flesh and that Holy Ghost pokes back. Amen. Yes. Praise God. That's what Paul said. Amen. Praise God. We got to walk in the spirit. We will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Amen. Praise God. What happened to that Holy Ghost will poke back. Amen. Yes. Praise God. And you get yourself to a place that you can receive from God. Amen. Glory. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. That word provoke means to call into action, to arouse, to excite, to make angry, to offend, to enrage, to stir up, yes. to induce by motives. Amen. You know, there's, there's a lot of good in that provoke, yes. and there's a lot of bad in that provoke. Yes. Amen. Praise God, I'm going to tell you. Amen. The Lord wants to provoke the Holy Ghost in you to rise up. Yes. Amen. Or that devil wants to provoke that flesh in you. Amen. To lose out with God. Yes. Amen. It's your choice what you want to get stirred up. Yes. Amen. Do you want to get your anger stirred up? Or you want to get the Holy Ghost stirred up? Yes. Amen. Praise God. I'm going to tell you, God wants to provoke the Holy Ghost in you to stand up and then worship Him. Amen. That's what that, that's what that reciting was a while ago. Oh, amen. Right. See, that devil done provoked you at the house, and you done made up your mind that you ain't going to worship God. Right. Jesus. Amen. amen. That's your choice. Amen. Jesus. Amen. You might not have had the right pair of riches on today, the right dress, you know. Come on now, my hair ain't going to just right. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, I Jesus. think worry you all the way to the house of God. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. Be in there, get all a bit out of shape because something didn't go just right. Come on. Amen. That devil sit on your shoulder and talk to you all the way to the house of yes. God. Amen. When you get to the house of God, amen. When the Lord tries to move, amen. You sitting there with your arms. Come on now. Amen. Sitting there with your arms, amen. Folded. I ain't going to receive nothing. Amen. Praise God. You know, by your body, by your body gestures, amen, tells a lot about you. Yes, amen. You can tell. Amen. Yes. You have to You know what this means? I'm not receiving. Amen. Oh, God help us. Yes, That's what that means in body language. Oh, Jesus. You know what this means? I don't believe a word of it. Oh, Jesus. You know what this means? Hallelujah. Yeah. God, I'm receiving. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yeah. Why you reckon he says lift up them hands and hang down? Amen. Yes, God. Amen. Strengthen them feeble knees. Yes, Amen. God. Stand up and receive what God's got for you. Yes. Yes. Amen. Praise Lord. God. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to tell you that devil wants to do his best Lord. to stop uh -huh. yes. Come Praise on. God. Psalms 37. One reads like this. It says, Fret not thyself because of evildoers. Neither be thou, be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. For they soon, they shall soon be cut down like the grass. And whether as the green herb, whether as the green herb, trust in the Lord and do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord. 
Trust also in him, and he shall bring to pass. He shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord, and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger, and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil, for evil doers shall be cut off. But those that wait on the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. Amen. Praise God, church, I'm going to tell you.